Welcome to South Asia. This is your presenter at South Asia Maps. South Asia Maps is an intellectual Chatriya channel. At South Asia Maps, <coughs> excuse me for my allergies, your presenter Jerry D will bring you a fascinating heritage, history and culture of South Asian region, south of Karakora Mountains, north of Kanyakumari, and east side of Kacha and Khyber, and west side of Kamarupa in Ahom's territory, Brahmaputra Valley. Today's the topic of presentation is a very fascinating Attak to Kattak, Attak se Kattak, it is a very interesting presentation. Before I venture into the topic, if you are following me at other social media channels such as Shareshot etc., I always post my the latest presentations at South Asia Maps. YouTube channel South Asia Maps, you can type South Asia Maps JRD. I already have more than 125 meticulously made presentations with uh, maps drawn for perfection, drawn and redrawn. Thousands and thousands of hours I have put. Since four decades, I have been a student of Indian history, heritage and culture. Those aspiring and want to learn the things in easy manner. And also those preparing for public service commissions also will find it very valuable. And always you will be presented with a topic that is an integrated approach. The approach I take is very different. When you explore these presentations, you will see the difference. Always the entire story is told in 30 to 40 minutes in an iconographic form. In the maps, images, diagrams. And there are more than 125 or so. And varied topics, Deccan, Gangetic Plains, Punjab, Bengal, Maratha history, Mughal history, and India under imperialism, Madras presidency, Bombay presidency, and so on. <coughs> and you can explore them at your leisure and convenience. Coming back to today's the topic of discussion is attack to cut. Attack to Katak 1758, 1761 is the very important year. You can easily remember. You put 17 here, you put 16 here. 1761. Gazwa Panipat, third battle of Panipat, where Marathas fought a serious battle with the Durrani Empire. Islamic Gajis, Islamic Jihadis, represented by Ahmad Shah Abdali. That is a Maratha Durrani conflict. This is the precursor to that. Just a three years before or two years before. Maratha Durrani conflict is a Katak story. Saiful Islam in Paschim Punjab, West Punjab. Maratha horses, as Marathas overthrew the Mughal Empire, their horses drank water in all rivers in Dakkan, all rivers in Hindustan, but they, were, they didn't quench their thirst, they were still very thirsty. Only when the Maratha horses touched the Sindhu river, river Sindhu, river Indus, their thirst is quenched. They got their thirst quenched only when they reached Attak, Attak city, the historic Attak, the gateway to 
Peshawar Basin, which is a gateway to Jamrat and Khyber Pass. They got their thirst quenched only when reached Attak and drank water of Sindhu River at the historic fort of Attak, a city on the Potwar Plateau of Western Punjab. After this presentation, you will see what is that fascinating story, Kissa Khawani, Maratha Durrani conflict. Marathas uproot jihadis, ghazvis. What is Saiful Islam means source men of Islam, people who use their talwars, source, to propagate the militant conversion based creed of Islam, Saiful Islams. Unfortunately, after conquering attack, Marathas failed to visualize the power of Saiful Islam, their determination, their aggressive theology, ideology. Across the Kuiper Pass, till the mighty Durrani Ghaji's jihadis resided and they ruled Afghania, Durrani Empire. Marathas failed to visualize it, they were lax. And they were uprooted in the next Ghazwa at Panipat 3, 1761. I told you 1716, that is the third battle of Panipat. We are not talking about that. We are talking about attack to cut a great saga. What is that attack to cut about? Here, as usual, I am giving you the context. The context. Maratha Empire has five centers of power, a pentarchy or Maratha Confederacy. There, the leader Peshwa resided in Pune. Pune is a district on the east side of Sahyadri Mountains and Dakkan Plateau. Mula Mutha River confluence, they had their capital headquarter headquarters or capital power center of Maratha Empire Pune Peshwa and they have lot of other Pentarchy the supporters of Peshwa <coughs> Gaikwites resided in the Gujarat plains across river Thapati in Baroda district also called Vodhodara next to Saurashtra Kacha. This is Sindh region, Sindh province. Other Maratha leaders of Pentarchy resided at Nagpur in the Vidarbha region or Nag Vidarbha region across the bearer, the Bonsle Maharajas, Bonsle Rajas, Peshwas in Pune and Bonsles at Nagpur, Gaikwars at Baroda and whole curse at Indur or Indor. Indur or Indor is in the Malwa region of central provinces or Madhya Bharat region of later or current Madhya Pradesh. It is just a few kilometers south of historic city of Ujjain or Ujjaini in the Malwa region. Whole curse ruled from Indore, this region, and other Sinthias, they also ruled from Ujjain. Later, they moved their capital to Gwalior. Gwalior is in the Girdh region of central province or Madhya Bharat or Madhya Pradesh, south of Chamba. So, this is the Pentarchy. And Bonsla Rajas of Nagpur, they also control the Kalinga region, Utkal region. This is the Katak district and this is the declining nominal Mughal Empire at Delhi Shah Alam Shiyani Shah Alam the second and Attak district close to Peshawar. This is the Attak region. This is the Sindhu river Attak here and Attak to Katak that is the story today and to give the context, in 1674, 
Shivaji Chhatrapati crowned himself as a Chhatrapati of Marathas and he passed away after six years, 1680. He was around about 53 or 54, 55, how you count his date of birth. After 26 years later, 27 years later, prominent Saiful Islam, the Islamic Ghazvi, Aurangzeb passed away also at Ahmadnagar in the Bhalgat region, Desh territory of Western Maharashtra. And he was buried at near Aurangabad, a place called Kuldabad, close to Daulatabad, Aurangabad. Shivaji crowned Aurangzeb dead 1707. Then the Maratha start conquering, liberating lot of land from the Mughal Empire. And Nadir Shah invaded Delhi in 1739. Peshwa was the Baji Rao, the mighty warrior. Baji Rao died within one year or so after the invasion of Nadir Shah. That means the Mughal Empire completely collapsed. Some of the remnants of the Mughal Empire in that region, in Persia and Afghania, in Kabul, Kandahar, were arrested by his general Ahmad Khan Abdali, later called Ahmad Shah Abdali. After Nadir Shah was assassinated and he took the control of eastern area, Pesha. Kandahar and Kabul, he ruled from Kab Kandahar, west of Kabul, west of Ghazna. And he started invading Delhi, Agra, where Mughals still ruled nominally. And he uprooted the Mughal Empire. And Marathas, who conquered a lot of this land, and Rajputana finally decided to contest with the Durranis. So, Bala, Baji Rao's son was the Pishwa called Nana Saheb Al Balaji Baji Rao. He sent his brother Raghoba, also called Raghunad Rao or Dada, Dada Saheb. Nana Saheb, Dada Saheb, then we have Baba Saheb, the leader who fought later three years uh, Panipat battle. Raghunad Rao along with the Maratha leaders, Malhara Holkar, Dattaji Sindhya, Tukojira Holkar, Shabaji Sindhya, and also Mughal Ali, Adina Beg and six, they conquered a lot of their territory from the Mughal Durranis and finally hoisted their flag at historic fort of Attak. Attak was around about 1,000, 1,100,000, 1, was under Shahiya control. They were Pattan Hindus called Shahi Rajas. And they were overthrown, of, overthrown by Muhammad of Ghaznavi. This happened around about 10,020 or so. Almost uh, around about 800 years, there was no Hindu rule in that area. This is the first time after 750 years or so, Hindus liberated their ancestral land. That is one very important significance. At the Delhi court, at the Shah Alam's court, Peshwa left his ambassadors called Hingne brothers or Hingane brothers. Hingne brothers wrote a letter communication to Peshwa at Pune that now after the capture of Attak Fort, Maratha flag, Bhagwa Doj Kesariya, fluttered from Attak to Kattak. That is very, very important. Attak to Kattak has such a great historic significance. In the Middle Eastern history, when the Jews were defeated and their kingdom collapsed, they were exterminated and spread to various parts of Europe. Every day in the prayers, they used to tell next year in Jerusalem, next year in Jerusalem. That's so, in 1940s, they established their own king, their own country and their own state, Israel. That's why it is very important Hindu society has to remember that Katak was our city, the ancient city, our 
innocent heritage. That's why Hingne brother wrote a letter to Pishwa saying attack to Kattak. Later, prominent Hindu nationalist uh, Veer Savarkar, Mruthunjai Veer Savarkar from Maharashtra also wrote an excellent book, The War of Independence, in that he also popularized attack to Kattak. That is attack to Kattak. Maratha horses drank water in the, all the rivers in Dakkan and Hindustan, but they got their thirst quenched only when they reached Attak city, Attak fort, and they drank water of Sindhu river at historic fort of Attak city in the Potwar plateau of Pashchim Panja. So, Attak to Katak or Attak se Katak, Maratha Bhagwa flag fluttered. Unfortunately, Marathas failed to visualize the Saiful Islam, Durranis, sourcemen of Islam, across the Khyber Pass and failed in the next round at Battle of Panipat, Third Battle of Panipat, Ghazwa e Panipat. It's very important that we remember the Islamic imperialism is essentially a militant ideology, divides the world into people populated by the converts, Mumins called Muslims, and infidels and kafirs, and it divides the entire heritage and ilam where they live is called lighted area, enlightened, the entire world is Jehiliya in the dark period. And the land where they rule or convert or conquer is called Darul Islam, and the land which is under the control of uh, non muslims is called Darul Harb. This is Islamic imperialism. And the visualize waging a jihad or ghazwa, collecting the loot and plunder called Ghanima. And India's greatest intellectual think tank of voice of India, intellectual Chatriya Sitaram Goyalji, Mahayogi Sri Ram Suru, and Acharya Coinrod else to have extensively analyzed that militant creed some other place. Here, to put the context, I am showing you the Attak region. At Katak region. Katak is in the, this is the Ganga Sagar region, Bay of Bengal. This is also called Utkal or Kalinga or coastal part of Varissa or Vodissa. Western part, mountainous part, also upland part is called Garja or also called the Eastern Ghat region or this is essentially Mahakos, Dachin coastal region they also call it. This is the Kalinga region. Bonsle Maharajas conquered this territory from Bengal Nawabs. We have Puri district here, we have Chilka, Chilika lake here and we have Ganjam district or Barampur district, then we have Sarkar, that is the Srikakulam, Vishakapatnam, Vijayanagara, then the Godavari deltas, twin Godavari districts, then Krishna, so on. So this is the Puri district, Katak district, Balso district, and we have Midnapur districts, Karakpuri area and so on, and Bengal proper here. That is the Katak, because it was liberated by Raghuji Bonsle, who was related to Shahu Maharaj Chhatrapati, grandson of Sivaji. Both are Bonsle dynasty. Sivaji belonged to Bonsle dynasty. This is the Attak region. So we have Sialko, it is a western Punjab. Delhi will be somewhere here. We have Sialko, this is the Jammu and Kashmir. Maharaja's territory, that's Dogra's territory. You have a Jammu region, Kadwa, and uh, we have Muzaffarabad and Mirpur and Punch, Punch and Mirpur and uh, South Kashmir, North Kashmir, Ladakh, Kargil and so on. Shialko district, Gujarat district, not Gujarat province. Jilam district, Rawalpindi district, Attak district. This region is called Potwar region. This is Sargodha district, Ashapur district, Mianwali district and there is Ismail Khan and Banu and Koha. These are the Pashtun areas, Patani speaking, 
Patans live here, Pashtun people, Peshawar Basin, Mardan, and hilly area of Hazara. And that is, we can go and take a look in the, the map that the things will be very clear for you. Uh, so, you, for the serious uh, seekers of the knowledge, intellectual chatriyas, you can type historical atlas of South Asia. This is Squarchberg Atlas, one of the most authentic atlases. You remember 60, realize that you are going to retire at 60. Type at uh, 60, number 60, and you will get a very fascinating the districts when British start mapping the district after 1850s or so, and I will show you the context. It is essentially British India map and uh, we have the here Godavari district, Vijayanagaran district, Ganjam district, Chilika lake here and we have Katak district here on the Kalinga coast, Katak and Balsor district and Bidnapur. All this region they were controlled by Rajas of Nagpur. This is the Nagpur region, Nagpur. Gochandrapur and uh, Nagpur, Western Bearer, yeah, the Nande region, this is the Vainganga, and Jabalpur, Mandla, this is the Garth, this is the Nagpur region, Vainganga region, and uh, Marathas, this is the Delhi, this is the British Punjab, right? So we have a Delhi somewhere here, this is the Haryana. This is Delhi, the Gurgavan Rota, this is the Gurgavan district. They are spelled a little different. This is Delhi here. The Lahore, the Maratha Harses, Mood, Raghunath Rao, the Pishwas brother conquered all these areas. And you see the Jilam district, Gujarat district, Laya, and Rawalpindi and Kohat. Here, this is the western part called Attak district. You can see the Maratha empire. I am showing the same district in a different context. You can see the Chilika Lake here and Puri district here, Katak district here, Balsur district here and uh, Ganga Sagar here. And uh, we move to the western part, Attak to Katak. Rohtak district, this is the Gurgavan, Delhi, Rohtak, Karnal, Marathas, Mood, conquered all this area. This is called Sisatle states. You can see the Luthiana, Zalandar, and Hoshiarpur, Kapurthala, Sialkot district, and Gujarat. They cross the Zeelam river flows here, Rawalpindi. This is the historic Attak district. Maratha flag, Bhagwad does fluttered at Attak. 1758. Later, few months later, they conquered Peshawar Basin also. So, the Khyber became the frontier between Durrani's ruling here and Maratha Empire here, the Mardan and Kohat and all those regions. And when Shivaji Maharaj started his empire, his empire was around Pune. Right, the Pune. So he conquered all these areas during time. That means Maratha horses drank water here. So the Pune will be somewhere here. It is at the confluence of river called Mula and Muta, which are the tributaries of Bhima. So which again is a tributary of Krishna. So Shivaji Maharaj, his horses moved all this area. Before his death, a few two years, he also conquered Dakkan like Arkat region. So the Maratha horses crashed Pala river and Ponya river. They drank all this water. Shivaji's co-brother, sorry, Shivaji's half-brother, Venkoji, that means also son of Shaji, father of Shivaji, through other wife, he was also Maharaja, conquered this area, Akar Kraveri, in the Tanjava. Tanjavur, nearly for 150 years or 200 years, was ruled by Marathas. 
Later it was conquered by a British East India Company. Maratha horses drank water all these areas. Even Sivaji visited Sri Shaila. Sivaji was invited by Akkanna and Madanna. And that this happened around about seven, 1678. That means two years or three years before Sivaji passed away. And after Sivaji death, Pishwas, they crossed Godavari River, Penganga and Tapati, Narmada. And Bonesley Rajas conquered all these areas. Their horses crossed Vain Ganga River and Indra, Indra, Indravati River and Rushikulya, Mahanadi and Hugli and Bhagiradi, which is a distributary of Ganga. This is the Ganga River and Ganga after it enters into Bengal is called Padma. One of its distributary from Faraka region is Hugli Bhagirathi. Bonesley Rajas Diwan, Chief Minister or Prime Minister, Bhaskar Pandit waged a relentless war against Bengal Nawabs Aliwardi Khan and Aliwardi Khan gave all this area to Maratha. So Maratha horses also drank water. So Marathas conquered all this Malwa region, right? So we have the Chambal River and Sipra River and Gambi River, Kalisind River, this Chambal River, this the Betwa River, Jansi will be somewhere here. This was the boundary, Yamuna River. They also had the Doba region, like Shaharanpur and Mujaffar Nagar and Meerat and Bulanshar. All these were the Maratha territories. So they Horses also drank water in Ganga. Their horses, of course, controlled the Marathas, like Marwad and Mewad region. Marwad and Mewad. So their horses also drank water in Banas River, Luni River, Sabarmati River, Mahi River, and all those areas. In 1758, Raghunath Rao Pishwa's brother moved the mighty Maratha army along with uh, Shindiyas and Holkar Sadars crossed the Sutlis River, then entered into Jalandar Dobe and crossed the Biyas River. Then he crossed the Lahore. He captured Lahore, that is in the Bari Dobe region. He crossed the Ravi River. Then he crossed the Chinab River. He was in the Chesdob, Gujarat region and all those. Then he crossed the Zilam River. And he was in the Jhelum district and Rawalpindi he captured all these areas. Finally, he reached Potwar region and Atok city. And they also captured Multan region. So that's the why Marathas captured all these areas. Here we are seeing again the fascinating the Western region. See, you have a Guzranwala district. This is the Lahore region. This is the Punjab, Chandigarh, Ludhiana, Amritsar, Lahore, Guzranwala, the birthplace of Maharaja Ranjit Singh later, Rawalpindi. This is the Potwar region. Attack will be somewhere here. This is the Turbela Dam. This is the Sindhu River or Indus River. So, Attack city, historic. Once you cross the Attack, then you enter into the Peshawar Basin and at Jamrath. Historic city of Jamrath, close to Peshawar, you have a Khyber Pass here. You cross the Landi Kotal and you'll get a Khyber Pass though. And Maratha horses drank their water at Attak. Attak to Kattak, the Peshwa's ambassadors wrote a letter to Peshwa, Nana Sahib, son of Balaji, Bajirao, that Marathas now conquered the region from Katak. This is in the Delta region, the Katak and Bhuvaneshwar and Ganjam region and Puri Chilika Lake and Balsor and this is all Maratha territory. Attak to Katak. That is above that. You can see the Maratha Empire here and uh, map of Attak district. Attak is also sometimes called Campbellapur because the when the British East India Company conquered that region, there was a general called Campbell and he resided there. So it's Campbellapur. Later again, the name changed back to Attack. So sometimes you see Campbellapur also. So this is the Maratha Empire. The Marathas ruled from, this is the Sarkar region, Northern Sarkars, that Godavari districts and so on. 
This is the Attak region, the Maratha Empire, the Bengal Nawabs ruled from here. Avad Nawab ruled here, Rohilas ruled. This is the Ganga, the Dobar region. You can see Yamuna River and Ganga, the Dob region, and all this region, Multan up to Peshawar, Marathas conquered, the Maratha Empire. And Rajput rulers of Bikaneer, and this is Jaisalmer, this is Jodhpur, and this is Kota and Bundi. They were also their fideatories or tributaries. They paid their client states essentially. Afghan Durrani Empire, Maratha Empire, attacked Khattak. Peshwa's ambassador Bapu Hingne told or uh, wrote a letter to the Peshwa. So here I am showing the same thing, the British Punjab. So you have a Delhi here, Gurgavan, Rohatak and Karnal and Ambala district and Ludhiana south of Sutles and we have Jalandhar, Doba region, Kapurthala, we have Gurdashpur here, Ludhiana and you have Shialkot region and Gujarat here, Shialkot and you have Faisalabad later, Gujarat, Zilam, Rawalpindi, this is number one is Attak. It is in the Rawalpindi division of British Punjab. I have a special video there and those interested you can see that presentation essentially again in the Sindh Sagar Dove you see the Attack district Rawalpindi district the Zilam district and you have Chakwal district and Sargoda district here and this is the Sutles river here in the Punjab Punjab geography under Sindh Sagar Doves and So that is in essence today we talked about the fascinating, the story behind attack to Kattak. We talked about the Pentarchy, the Maratha Confederacy at Pune, Peshwa and Gaikwad at Baroda or Vododara in the Gujarat next to Saurashtra or Katiyawad, then in the Vidarbha region the Bonsley Rajas at Nagpur, then the Holkar Sardars at Indur, south of Ujjain, and Sindhya rulers from Ujjain, and later at Gwalior in the Girdh region, and Nagpur rulers, Bonsley rulers, Bhaskar Pandit, when Raghoji Bonsley was the Raja of that Nagpur kingdom, he conquered a lot of Bengali speaking, this is very serious, and Katak came under their control. And few years later, Raghunath Rao led a mighty army, Raghunath Rao Dadaji and Malharao Holkar, Dattaji Shindya Tukoji, all the Sardars, they made a serious effort to dislodge the Seful Islams, the source men of Islam and conquered. Katak to Attakar, Attak to Katak, we see the districts, we see the district and we talked about Islamic imperialism, is three divisions. Darul Islam, Darul Harb, Mumins and Kafis, Illam and Jahiliya, concept of Jihad, Ghazwa and Ghanima, the plunder, the entire militant conversion based ideology masked and propagated on the hapless, helpless people by sourcemen of Islam and salesmen of Islam and intellectual think tank of India, Mahayogi Sri Ram Surup, and so on. So this is about the fascinating story of Attak to Kattak only when the Maratha horses reached from Mulamutha river and drank water in all the rivers of Deccan south of Satpuras and Narmada they, and Hindustan, their Thirst was not quenched. Only when they reached Attak, the historic city of Attak on Sindhu River, Indus River, and they stopped there and drank the water, they got their thirst queen. So Attak to Kattak should be every nationalist has to remember. Like uh, Jewish people used to say every every Sunday prayers next year in Jerusalem, next year in Jerusalem. So we should remember next year in Attack, next year in Attack, and one day that land will be ours. This is our land, Islam. Islamic imperialism has taken over 
when Kavardai's Congress leadership signed the Treaty of Partition without contesting it in 1947 June 3rd plan. They just showed their back and called this Ahimsa and gave all this territory. That's why we lost attack again. So thank you very much joining me and if you like my presentations it will be very great helpful you subscribe the channel and make the comments and criticisms and any of your contributions in the discussion area and this is your presenter j ready at south asia map intellectual chatri channel which brings the knowledge and heritage of south asian region in the form of maps and pictures and icons. See you later. Thank you very much.